Hello to my first violin lesson ever. <laughs> So welcome everybody and you're here to join Rob today on his big epic journey of his first violin lesson ever. Why today? <laughs> okay, we'll do the, that one. Rob can play some instruments pretty well. Right, Rob? Uh, questionable. But yes. But can he play the violin pretty well? That's what we're here to find out today. Ready? Okay, Rob, so first right. violin lesson. Why is abbreviation such a long word. Okay. Okay, so I know without, without me telling him, he's already put it in the right position because he's seen a couple of violinists before. Is that right, Rob? I used to play French horn, so I sat behind load, yeah. Yeah, that's correct. So <laughs> where do you think you put the bow, Rob? Correct. So let's see your bow hold. Could you show everybody your bow hold nice and close up? So this is Rob's best guess at a go bow hold. I've told him absolutely Actually, nothing so far. I, I saw you saying put your little finger here. Yes, the other day. that was correct. Bend so, your thumb, Rob. Bend it? Yeah, bend your thumb. What do you mean? Okay. Uh, this the, the one thumb. On yeah, no, but like, where should I bend it? Oh, okay. So let me just show you. We'll show the. We'll show the. Oh, I see. So we bend our thumb this way round underneath the bow and dig it in just where that little bit of sort of black plastic starts. Sometimes it's leather. Depends where you got your bow from. Okay, like that. So. So like that. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So, you show the viewers at, at home. Viewers at home, that's Rob's bow hold, it's pretty good. Acoustic. Yeah. Is a Scottish cattle prod. Let's have a look. Okay, so Rob, we've got four strings. We've got G, D, A, and E. We're going to be starting oh, off today. That's pretty handy for this then, isn't it? Mm hmm. G, D, A, mm -hmm. and E. Okay. So we're going to be playing in the key of G major today. So we're going to be starting on the note G. So that is G, but we're not going to be using that G today. We're going to be using the third finger on the D string. Oh, this is really hard. <laughs> is it? He's doing well though. That was a good sound. Why, why are you not ending your jokes? <laughs> Where are the punchlines? <laughs> hey, these are the jokes. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, are you why do you need a bent finger? Uh, you just well, why do you need a bent finger? Because it acts as a pivot, so it's a bit like. Um, if oh, you think I how see. a seesaw works, so you, you could a have a flat thumb, but you'd have to have it would be a bad meaty, pivot. meaty thumbs. Yeah, well, if, if you right. think about how a pivot works, a triangular yeah. structure like that is stronger than that. Yeah. And that's why. So, viewers at home, we like a triangular shaped thumb like that for a nice strong pivot for our bow to sit on. Right. And then this guy is one guy on the seesaw, and the other guy is the weight of the bow. So, if you think about a seesaw action, oh, I see. So, um, pivoting on your thumb, you just yeah, you press this finger down like that. There you go. Um, try to put the tip of the finger on the bow rather than the flat part, so the very tip. So you want to have a bent finger like that. Lovely. Oh, I see. That's pretty good. And then wrap this finger around the bow to oh. secure this side like that. Oh, yeah. Blimey. Okay. So it's like an extra bit of security for the bow to take some of the weight of the bow out. I'm, um, I'm not sure about this. Well, we don't need to things. be perfect today, don't you know? <laughs> most most people in their first violin lesson, they don't get the bow hold perfect, so we can live with whatever okay, you yeah, can do. Yeah. Okay. Put this down and, uh, and just have a go at this. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe try a couple of the other ones. <laughs> Interval. <laughs> do, 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 do. What do okay. you call... A three-legged donkey. What do you call it? I'm not sure. He called it a wonky. <laughs> so, so whilst like Rob's figuring out how the meaning of life, I'm going to show yeah. you what he's going to play today. So we're going to try and play Highland Cathedral, which was the song that you heard him playing on various instruments before. Um, it's a nice piece of Scottish music, which has been written by a German man. <laughs> <laughs> we really like this song and everybody's had it stuck in their heads all day so we're hoping Rob can play or everyone's going to be real disappointed here at Christmas in England and It's fine. 
cool. Yeah. So okay. let me show right. you. I'll show you first because yeah. you might see visually what to do then. Yeah. So as good. long as we get a couple of bars in, so I'll just play a couple of lines of this. So. So it's three to start with on the D string. Yeah, and about there. Yep, yeah, and then after that you go to the A string. Can I write in pencil in this, or is that illegal? Illegal means a sick bird of prey. You can write, yeah, in pencil on this. <laughs> Today. Because I can we break don't the we, finger we don't, want the, we don't want the police round. <laughs> um, yeah, the police in England come out if you write in pencil on sheet music. It's um, yeah, really where quite a, a strict law. Where is a pencil? Um, That's the question. Yeah. Okay, let's just pause the folks at home. Oh, oh no, yeah. here's a pencil. Folks, yeah. we have a pencil. Every violin lesson should contain a pencil. Okay? So I'm going to write you the finger numbers. Three, zero. I'll also write where to change string. So you should be able to figure it out without me saying anything. So you'll know when to change string because I'll put an, an up or a down arrow. I see. So let's just stick to bar one and two for now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is what bar one and two sounds like. Three. So you're following these finger numbers. You can read music. I'm so not going to worry about this. Just yeah, yet. no vibrato today. Yeah. No vibrato today. We'll, well, maybe you might be able to do vibrato. Who knows what Rob can do? Because he can play quite a few instruments. <laughs> We're about to find out. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Ah! On pitch. Oof, uh. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'll give you a G. Lovely. Okay, now you're going to follow the numbers. So. Violin. We've now ascertained that Rob can play the violin. Okay, so now we do we need to play the rest or can you remember how the melody goes? I can remember how the melody goes. Let's just play it for like, the folks just trying, to, just trying to figure it out. Either your fingers are touching and it's What's a semitone. What length? What sort of length is a note on the string? So either either your fingers are touching like this, like together, right? And that means it's a semitone apart. So that's like C to C sharp, everybody. Ah, okay. and if it's a tone apart, there's a finger's width difference between them, like this. So that's your vague guide. Okay. Okay. Everybody, all the viewers at home. So go. rather than up around the side. But oh, okay. some people argue with uh, argue with me about that, so we okay. don't we're not sure. But you can put your thumb in the nape of the neck like that. That's better. It, I okay. find generally it makes the fingers a bit freer. So that was okay. bar two and three. So we're now one line into the piece. Line e. we'll do we'll, we'll one, just play up to the end which of bar is that one? That's on the D string, so the, this one. Which one's that one? Uh, the second string from the bottom. Okay. Sharp, yeah. That's a zero, 
so angry with you for getting it wrong, it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a minim, Rob? Is that really a minim? <laughs> Can you play me a minim, please? <laughs> Much better. So we gave one, three, zero, crossing the string up between one and three. can play the violin everybody so if any orchestras are looking for new members particularly the back of the seconds <laughs> yes. Rob's ready <laughs> I'm used to being there <laughs> it's a uh, Jarvis's list of dad jokes everyone yeah I got lots of jokes <laughs> highlighted some especially for today most of them got appropriate <laughs> wait, wait, wait.